The CD release concert was um, just a massive undertaking. It's, it was probably the most barbaric use of my finances that I've ever seen myself use. Uh, a little redundant, that phrase, but anyway, we spent so much money on that, but um, in many ways it was worth it, in many ways it was the most frustrating endeavor of my entire life, but when you look back and you look at all the pieces that went into it, when I look back and look at all the pieces that went into it, I, I, can, I can really go, wow. I did something very, very big, and it wasn't just me, I actually, um, yes, I, I was the executive producer, producer and by that, uh, I mean that I had to pay for everything. <laughs> it doesn't mean I have any power whatsoever, it just means that I have to pay and finance everything. So people appreciate executive producers because they hand out checks. Um, anyway, Paul. Racy um, has a lot of you know theater production, uh, big event production, event planning, and so you should have seen the planning worksheet that he put together for this. It was just massive. It was like a you know a 30-page docket of I don't know if this is 30 pages, but it's it was a it was a massive dossier of of um, stage layouts and cable gear and miking and uh, theatrical equipment and event rigging and staffers and correct placement uh, and lineups um, and schedules and budgets and worksheets and good grief. 3.30. 30. 30. 4 o'clock sound check. Hi. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Is that crazy crazy? <laughs> no tickling on camera. No tickling on camera. Partially because I can't see. What was that one more time? Don't mess with you, and why would that be? Because right, I would kill you. <laughs> we got um, tremendous uh, accommodation by some local companies that um, provided lighting and sound, uh, both of which have experience dealing with uh, much, you know, more reputable and higher up in the chain artists than us. Heart, for example, I know, uh, came to the forefront of one of the conversations. Uh, but we had these, you know, these great big video walls um, and, uh, you know, a bunch of, I don't even know what they're called, really. They're like PAR 64s and PAR somethings, PARs, uh, lighting and cans and strobes and lasers, freaking laser beams. We had absolutely everything and it was really, really well done. You got money to say. You got, you got words to use. <laughs> <laughs> It's your big day, buddy. You didn't go to school for nothing. It's your big day. <laughs> Here's your beer. And that's Cindy. Hi. What's going on, Cindy? How are you? Did I'm, I'm making a documentary, so oh, you'll have to bear with me. Cheers. <laughs> and I prefer if you focus on the war part of the drone. That's the what you doing here? Uh, I'm hanging out until later on. I don't know. Very good. <laughs> got to get everybody. It's, it's got to be documented. <laughs> and what's your function here? Light board up. So if I have questions about my computer, I can call you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> All right. Too technical for me. All right. Which is which you're up there? All right. What do you see all this stuff turned on? Um, and I was, I was, I, I did. Payday! Yeah, if you can wait on Cash App until like, I don't know, 2013. Yeah, I appreciate that. The companies that provided it, HTS Audio for the sound and Stenide Illumination for the lighting, uh, we owe a great big of, uh, deal of thanks to. Uh, there is one person in particular that really invested his heart, soul, mind, and strength into this, and that's um, Peter Dingfield of Light Your Way Productions. Pete just really um, listened to these songs, got them into his soul, got them under his fingernails, and just really, um, you know, clawed at them uh, and got a choreography going with these lights that uh, I couldn't have asked for more. It was just, it was, it looks absolutely sensational on film. Yes, it cost an absolute fortune, uh, but I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. So Mr. Yeah. Pete, 
quit. What does Pete think? Oh, oh I was filming. I was right in the middle of commercial interruption. I think yeah, I think you still need some strain relief up top, dude. But that's just me. I'm just a producer. I need to go put these bad boys up all over the place. They're bad boys. Whatever you call bad boys. Are you having fun filming, buddy? I am. I bet you are. Oh, I need these. What does that mean? It means I'm tired and everything that comes out of my mouth is just gibberish. And it's fun to say gibberish as gibberish. You seem to have a purpose that's rather unclear at the moment. Because as we all know, it is purpose that drives us. Purpose that guides us, that binds us. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Barnwell. Is that, is that as cool? Not as cool as Mr. Anderson. What would your matrix name be? Fleo? Theo. Geo. Geo. Epileptic peeps. Are you epileptic? Would you like to hear? They've got trees and mooses and sled dogs. Lots of lumber and lumberjacks and hogs. They say A instead of what order? That's the mighty power of Canada. There are things that I love. That's what I love. That is what I love. What do you love? What do you love? You making a DVD out of this? I won't be. Resting room is just kind of like. Could you excuse me for a moment? Pip -pip. What's going on, Sunshine? Yeah. Hi. Mike? I'm Mike. I'm Mike. Oh, Mike Allen? Yes. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Um, it was really nice. You went ahead and brought another, <laughs> you brought another uh, interface, so we're not at the 24. Be up there on stage again after um, you know what 13 years since my last performance was uh, an immeasurable adrenaline rush um, you can't quantify that type of you know uh, passionate swelling of excitement brimming over with gosh you know for, for a guy who had been on stage and had loved to go sing and perform and you know uh, yes, dance a little bit like Michael Jackson and blah blah blah. I can't help but it's in the blood. Um, it was such a rush. It was such a tremendous thrill to get back up there again and to do all that and to be in the, in the spotlight for a little bit and, and share such important messages, really, such important works that were so near and dear to our heart. it's my hope that this DVD brings you there and you see the enormous talent that, um, that surrounded us that day. I feel like I'm being used and abused. Fingers and noses. That's good entertainment. And fart jokes. This stuff, time permitting, but I think ultimately what we really need to do. Fingers and noses, baby. A stray bug. It's hanging there, and I'd really like that to go down just for posterity's sake. HD. HD bugs are the best. I love HD bugs. HD bugs. <laughs> Yummy.
so I could just stand here and go. Free and clear. Yes. And you have done that since 1970. When? Two? 73? In fact, I remember the curly haired boy in the diaper with his finger up his nose. Anybody do that? Cousin Josh. Josh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So, so what do you think about this concert? What do you think about uh, Ryan's uh, album? It's gonna rock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gonna... Honest opinion now. Yeah, dude. Look at it. <laughs> it is pretty big, huh? It's epic. It's epic in its scale. Paul, you got any uh, last words? Why did I let you talk me into this? Why? For yeah. Six months, I said no. You guess I, get, I guess I picked the wrong day to And then 12 early. months later. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, thanks, like, thanks for dressing my craft for the show. Ryan took one look at my uh, outfit. He's like, yeah? Is that what you're wearing? <laughs> a few words for the DVD. <laughs> Look excited guys. Look excited. 